In about 48 hours, you will not be able to watch your favorite television programs and news. If you are a resident of Nairobi and its environs and have not yet acquired and fitted your TV with a set-top box, the government has announced that analog broadcast signals will be switched off at exactly 11.59 p.m. on Thursday in the first phase of digital migration. The switch-off deadline will affect Nairobi County, Kiambu County, Ngong, Ongatarongai, Kitengela, Isinya, Kajiado, Athiriva, Machakos, Thika, Makuyu, Kigumo, Kerugoya, Gidungori and Embu. The second phase of digital migration will be effected on 30th of March next year and will affect all major towns in the country. The deadline for nationwide digital migration is June 30th next year. The Communication Commission of Kenya has since written to all media executives in the country to comply with the switch of directive. A letter sent to Royal Media Services Chief Executive Officer Washira Waroro directs him to ensure that Citizen TV ceases to transmit on Channel 34 and 39 transmitters located in Limuru. CCK has made it clear that broadcasting without a digital license is in breach of the law and the CEO of any institution doing so is liable to jail and or a fine of 20 million shillings. These, according to the main media houses in the country that control 80% viewership is what had informed their decision to switch off their TV stations from last night in compliance with the High Court ruling yesterday that dismissed the petition that they had launched challenging the implementation of digital migration until the pertinent issues they had raised were dealt with. So the media houses are not objecting, they're just asking for faithful implementation of the report of the task force. You cannot tell people, media houses, that they've got the freedom of broadcasting and deny them digital frequencies, deny them digital licenses. Citizen TV, KTN and NTV are back on air. However, this will only be until midnight Thursday when they will be forced to switch off again as directed by the government. The three main media houses have filed an appeal challenging the verdict of High Court Judge David Majanja and the matter will be heard on Friday by a three-judge appellate bench. The President of the Court of Appeal has directed that the application which was filed this morning and a certificate and which has been certified as urgent will be heard on Friday the 27th of December 2013 at 10 o'clock by a bench to be constituted by the President of the Court of Appeal. So the parties will be notified and they will appear before a three bench on Friday for the application to be heard and the court will give directions on the way forward. On Friday we'll be asking obviously the appeal itself cannot be heard on Friday will be asking that the migration to digital be stayed until such time as the appeal itself is heard on Article 34, the Constitution, sub Article 3, uh, uh, together with the other side uh, being there, uh, we're asking for a stay until the appeal is heard, because the appeal is going to take a bit of time. The main media houses have insisted that they were not against digital migration and in fact supported the process, but were concerned that more than 90% of their viewers had not acquired universal set-top boxes to receive the free-to-air digital signal. The three media houses have invested in terms of personnel, in terms of infrastructure, over 40 billion shillings. So you cannot flash this investment down the toilet, really, because the task force made it clear that those media houses that were not to be given licenses and opted to be carried by a digital carrier, their investment would be compensated. Now, that has not been done. The government had in a letter dated 6th of November 2013 to the chairman of Media Owners Association Kiprona Kitoni had said that there were only 26,538 universal receivers in the country. Nairobi and its environs has an estimated 2 million TV sets. The media houses argue that the other TV set-top boxes were for paid TV stations and attract a monthly subscription and should not be confused with the universal free-to-air digital receivers. The main media houses in the country state that resumption of normal services will now await the verdict of the Court of Appeal on Friday. Francis Gashori, Citizen Live at 9.